Hey, internet. I know, I know, my next video is supposed to be about Mistborn next week, but I just wanted to give a quick update about all the current goings on in the Branderson Sanderson fandom. -son. So, six things plus one. First, the Kaladin album is back up. After almost a full year of mysterious embargo due to the film rights of the Cosmere being owned by DMG, the Kaladin album is back up on all your favorite platforms. Basically, a team of incredibly talented people who also love Brandon Sanderson's work got together and wrote a score for The Way of Kings, a soundtrack for a novel. Crazy, right? But also amazing. Not only is the music incredible, but the people who worked on it are Awesome. I can confirm it. I know a few of them. Hey, Christina. Hi, Nate. If you haven't heard it yet, definitely go check it out. I'll put some links in the description. Since they had to take it down, all of the previous reviews they had got deleted. So go listen to it and leave a review. It's totally worth the purchase. Side note, DMG is also one of the production companies behind Bloodshot, the action movie starring Vin Diesel, comes out in February 2020 everyone should go see it. Not because it's totally going to be good necessarily, but because if it succeeds in the box office, DMG is going to have more money to throw at the Cosmere. Second, Secret Sazed is officially underway. This Cosmere-focused Secret Santa gift exchange for 2019 has begun, with the first round of assignments already sent out. If you'd like to get in on this, check the description for signups. You can give digital or physical gifts, so it doesn't matter if you're in the US or out, you can still totally participate. And some of the things people have gotten are incredible. Like this, or this, or this. I'm really proud of that one. Third, Starsight is coming out. The sequel to Brandon Sanderson's best-selling YA novel Skyward is being released this month with a massive release party planned for the day. Like, Seriously, it's gonna be huge. Usually these type of things happen in just the bookstore, but Barnes & Noble actually had to rent out a local high school in order to fit everyone. Anyone in Utah? I'll totally see you there. It's really nice living relatively near your favorite author. For those who can't come, follow me on social media. I'll be sharing pictures and video from it all night. And I'm really, really proud of my costume. Fourth. Mistborn Metal Dice Kickstarter. Crafty Games, the makers of the Mistborn Adventure Game Tabletop RPG, and the Mistborn House War board game have a brand new Kickstarter featuring 20 unique solid metal dice, each with a specific allomantic symbol and coinciding metallic finish. Yeah, 20 metal dice, with the 16 allomantic metals, plus the three god metals and malatium. They also have an embossed leather dice tray and a leather dice tower, depending on what tier you want to select, as well as add-ons for their other games and products. Plus, stretch goals with even more dice! So far, we've already gotten the Fairgamous set. If you love both Sanderson and tabletop role-playing, you gotta get in on this. Fifth, monsters don't wear underpants. Okay. Isaac Stewart, art director for Team Dragonsteel, has published a Lift the Flap children's book that will be coming out next summer. If you were following him on Instagram, Isaac's whole Inktober featured Blue, the main character. It looks delightful. I know my son will love it, so I've already pre-ordered. Six, progress bar, progress. Amazingly, despite some heavy touring, Brandon is now over 75% done with the rough draft of Stormlight 4, called Rhythm of War. The first two sections are completely done, with the last three about two-thirds finished, still hopefully on track for a 2020 release. That goal is actually why Brandon isn't doing a signing tour for Starsight. The only event is the release party November 26th. He's got about 100,000 words to write by New Year's, which is around 1,500 words per day. He averages up to 2,500 words a day, so we should be in the clear. One more thing. We finally have gotten word that the Warbreaker Leatherbound is available for pre-order. It's been as plagued with printing problems as all the others, but Dragonsteel is hoping to get them out by Christmas. Seeing pages of the Unbound book, it's gorgeous. At this point, I just want to express some gratitude to Brandon himself. This is the month of Thanksgiving, after all. I tell this to people all the time, but we are such an incredibly spoiled fanbase. 
The fact that we know his average daily word count, that we know exactly where he is in terms of progress with his next book, that he's choosing not to do a signing tour to promote his latest release, which usually would make him a ton of money, in order to ensure a speedy release of his next is huge. Not only is he incredibly prolific, publishing at least one thing every year, if not two or three, not only is he incredibly transparent with his process, keeping us all updated with specific story choices he's thinking about, not only is he totally willing to potentially lose money by under-promoting his own work just to make sure he can meet our own expectations, but during all of that, he's such a nice guy. So Brandon, if you ever happen to watch this video, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your respect and support, your tireless effort, usually between midnight and 2 a.m., your uh, transparency, your decency, and of course, sharing your stories with us. Your books make us into better people. Your stories help us shape our own. Because of your characters, we can build ours. You've held a mirror up to humanity and shown us who we should be, who we can be. Even though sometimes I may feel broken, beyond hope, beyond worth, because of your words, I know I can take that ever important next step and become more than I ever thought possible. Not in spite of those cracks, but because of them. You've unquestionably changed lives, saved lives. Mine and thousands, perhaps millions of others. Thank you.